What is up, guys? It's Levi Nash here back here with another video today. I am really, really excited. Last week, I want to apologize right away for not being able to get up a video. I let you guys down, and I'm really sorry for that. I just got super busy. I had a couple tests come up in school and everything, and I had a basketball game Friday night. So it was just a lot to just cram in into one day. So I decided to just take a break from that week and get one up this week. This week, we are going to be reviewing a product from Reef Nutrition called... Tigger Feast. Now this stuff is totally awesome and you'll find out why in a quick second. Before I forget, I got my new stickers in thanks to Robert Sullivan. If you have any questions, um, let me know. Um, I can get you these stickers on Instagram, but I will be doing a small giveaway on Instagram. So be on the lookout for that. I'll be doing a small giveaway with the, the sticker and something else. So I'm still exactly trying to think what I want to do because I'm going to kind of do a small little Christmas giveaway. Um, other than that, this stuff right here is totally awesome. This feeds just about anything. NPS corals like Tabastria, um, lots of others, Dendros, that's what I was thinking about. Um, fish, invertebrates, this thing feeds just about anything and it's really, really awesome. And good healthy food. It's really just um, concentrated tiger pods or copepods. pods. Um, that's a species, it's a tiger pod. So, we're going to go ahead and head over to the 10 gallon, give you a little quick update, and we're going to go ahead and talk about some tiger feast and feed it to the 10 gallon reef tank. So, here is the 10 gallon reef tank. Sorry for the lighting, I probably should put my lens on, but it's really not that bad today, actually. Um, this thing is doing absolutely awesome. I really love how everything's balancing out. The one thing I really don't like is that I do have a strong light on this, and I kind of figured this one. Um, I built this tank and added everything into it. We have some algae growth coming in, and that's totally normal. That's been happening the whole time I've had this tank set up. There's a little bit of cyanobacteria, and that's because I left my skimmer off for four days straight, and I forgot all about it. And I had some cyanobacteria take over a little bit, but it's definitely decreased. Um, and I'm really excited for that. I started using the skimmer right back up again, and it went like it almost instantly within a day. Um, and it was just gone. So really excited. There's still a little bit left, as you can tell. Um, but I'll probably end up just scraping that off with some tweezers or something. Um, other than that, this tank is doing extremely well. Um, we got some zoas right here. This is a newly added rock that I got from my store that I work for, Northside Aquatics LLC. Not exactly sure on the kind of zoa that is, but we got a grapefruit palitoa. And then we got some Bam Bam Zoas that are starting to open back up because I shut this light off on accident and I didn't even know why I did it. Um, right up here we got some super greens, green star polyps in the back. Right there we got some branching green star polyps. I picked those up at Reef of Blues. Those are a nice grab. <clears throat> Excuse me. Eagle Eyes Oanthids, Super Red Monte Pora. Um, we got some Xenia. I'm not exactly sure on the species. Kenya Tree, Duncan, Frog Spawn, Palithoas. Indonesian Feather Duster, Polysipora, and then more Xenia, and then the Photosynthetic Gorgonian, which is probably my favorite. It just kind of brings out the tank a little bit and adds that reef look to it. Um, I really would like to put another Photosynthetic Gorgonian over there just to kind of fill in the space or possibly a little bigger one that's Photosynthetic. Um, other than that, like I said, everything is doing extremely well in this tank, and I cannot complain one bit. I did feed some TDL Chrome Boost earlier to this tank, so they possibly won't eat as much so we're gonna go ahead and feed this to the five gallon um macroalgae tank which is currently out of macroalgae because i actually sold a bunch of it and then we're gonna go ahead and put some in the tank there chromis is going crazy which does not surprise me the super or the red dragonette actually eats a bunch I'm trying to get some down for the oh where's bicolor bunny he kind of hides out in this little hole under the super greens back there it's really hard to see him focus for you guys he is right there underneath the super green zoanthids um i have a red dragonette in here or not a red dragonette a red scooter bun and there he is right there kind of showing up he eats this stuff like crazy he used to eat nothing but live cocoa pods which i draw right here and these are reproducing like crazy let's see if we can find them out here. And you can kind of see the little dots all over the glass there's a bunch in there um and those are reef nutrition live tigger pods and these are concentrated tigger pods so this stuff is totally awesome and look at all that just floating around the tank the corals will eat it the corals love it i have noticed some extremely more like well coral growth since i started feeding this as well you can see the duncan actually closing up eating some right now that guy loves some tdl chrome boost i will have a time lapse that i got recently of the duncan eating some uh tdl chrome boost on instagram soon 
Oh. Other than that, not too much in here eats it. I get some on the zoanthids and the pilothos every now and then. The frog spawn will eat a little bit, uh, but the zoanthids love this stuff, and as well as the pom pom crabs, they dig this stuff. Sexy anemone shrimp eat it. Um, Peterson's anemone shrimp was actually added in here. I do not have an anemone, but he is doing extremely well as well. And we'll talk a little bit about that at the end of the video. There's really not much I want to explain. Just one quick thing, and that's going to wrap it. Um, we're going to go ahead and feed the five gallon. Go ahead and get some in this pipette just a little bit more. And we'll go ahead and feed the... These are just mollies I have in here. Up top. And they just love this stuff as well. Ooh, chowing it. Um, then we're gonna walk over here. I already fed the 75 with some TDL Crown Roost. Open this up. And look at this stuff. Sorry for the watermarks in the front glass there. Danzelfish already have it all gone, which does not surprise me. These guys are crazy. And that's all that's in this tank. I would like to add some more Domino Damsels just to kind of fill it up a little bit. Um, I was thinking about adding a nice size Gorgonian in here, but I'll probably just leave it for right now and wait until future. <clears throat> wait until the future and get some more ideas because I had another idea for that tank and I'm not sure if I'm going to fill it. I really like the damsels and how active they are. Um, we're going to quick update on 75. Everything was doing extremely well. I'm going to go ahead and rescape it a little bit. Um, I kind of have a lot. Of, I, I got this huge hermit crab in here. It's just a um, green Gulf of Mexico hermit crab from the Gulf of Mexico, obviously. Um, I'm going to remove some of the rocks because he has a little bit of trouble getting around. So I'm going to remove a couple of rocks so he has more of a sandy bottom to walk across. Um, I'll probably end up stacking a lot of the rock on this side just for more hiding places for the fish. And over here real quick, sorry if I made you dizzy. NPS tank, i got a bunch of sponges and tunicas coming for this thing. This thing has been testing extremely well the past couple weeks and I feel that I'm ready. I've been dosing this with some Phyto Feast from Reef Nutrition. And they got a dosing pump that I will eventually get in the refrigerator back there and start dosing phytoplankton into this tank. Everything's doing extremely well. Um, the light just shut off, so everything's starting to open up. The chili coral gets huge at night. It really closes up during the day, which kind of stinks. Um, but I noticed if I have the light a little dimmer, it stays open. So other than that, everything is doing extremely well in my room, especially the 10-gallon. I really enjoy the 10-gallon at this moment. Well, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I really just want to give you a quick update on all my tanks and how everything's doing since it's been a little while. It's been two weeks now. Um, but the highlight of this video was Tigger Feast. Really recommend this stuff. It is a nice nutrient food, or nutrient rich food, I should say, for your fish, inverts, and corals. Um, I will have a time lapse coming on Instagram real soon. I'm really excited. I've been working on a time lapse for the Duncan Coral eating some TDO Chrome Boost, and that stuff is really awesome as well. Um, other than that, thanks for watching this video. Like I said, I really wanted to highlight Tigger Feast. That is a limited edition, so be sure to get on their website and get it as soon as possible. Um, and I kind of just wanted to throw up a little Christmas video. The Tigger Feast, kind of, the bottle was a little bit of Christmas theme, so I was really excited to do a Christmas theme video for you guys. Be sure to have a safe and wonderful holidays. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We will see you the Friday after Christmas. Don't forget to be the fish and keep reefing. We will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.